I wasn't gonna do my um, soda talk or soda time or whatever but here it is and I am gonna do that today I'm gonna talk about an important topic that may you may understand or you may not understand but oh well I think I might need to get more soda oh well it'll do um being comfortable in your own skin um for years I have always been uncomfortable you know like how I look how I act, how I dress, how my hair looks, if my life is going to be perfect, if my life is a try, a mess. But I realize, you know, that I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. And I am a beautiful person who needs love, just like everybody else. And I need to be stop being so hard on myself and love myself for who I am love myself even if I'm short too short I hate being short but realize that there's probably a reason why that I'm built the way I am and I can lose weight I can change how I look but before that I need to change up how I, my attitude is towards myself and I don't need to beat myself up and when people make fun of me or call me names, I need to realize that they're just jerks and that people are jerks to people. It's not the person's fault that they are being made fun of. Um, there are just a lot of people that are mean and insecure and they go after people they think that they will hurt just to get this feeling of gratitude like oh I'm so cool I made fun of this girl online or I made fun of this girl in person and yeah there are a lot of adult bullies and there are a lot of adult trolls that are in their 40s and 50s that still call people names you think they'd grow out of that once they left high school but they're still immature and they don't matter, especially if you don't know them or if you don't have any respect for them. You need, to, you need to love yourself even if, like, people are making fun of you or you feel insecure about yourself. They're, that you're not ugly. You might be a little bit overweight, but no one's ever going to be perfect, like... Even the models in the magazines are not, they don't look like that. That's called Photoshop, and they do Photoshopping, and they don't really look like that. I'm sure plenty of models, like if you really saw them in real life, they would look totally different from their um, photo shoots. They probably would have a, a zip the here or there, or they might have things that about them that they feel insecure about and you might find out that being a model or actress maybe they're even more insecure than you would think they would be because of the high stress of their job you've got to accept and understand that People don't always, people don't look the same. We're, we have all shapes and sizes, and some people are bigger than some people, and some people are taller, some people are skinny. Some people don't like being skinny, and some people like being curvy. And you just got to understand that the grass isn't always green on the other side, and even if you're having one of those days that you feel ugly there are going to be other days where you feel great and um, I'm not saying you know not diet or exercise which um, may make you feel better but um, it may not make you totally feel better you just gotta accept 
yourself for who you are and some things you can't change like how tall you are that's never gonna change or you might have a scar that's not gonna change and there are some things you can change you can um, wash your face and you can dye your hair if you don't like your hair color um, go on a diet if you don't feel like comfortable with your weight but if you go on a diet and start exercising it exercising don't do it for anyone but yourself don't do it for people like because they think you're ugly just or because you want to impress them do it because of your health and because it makes you feel better don't diet and exercise for other people but yourself because if you try to diet and exercise exercise to impress and stuff you it'll fail and it won't work out and um bullying people won't help them um won't help them with lose their weight lose weight or change it's going to make them want to eat more so if you want to bully somebody about somebody's weight if they're overweight or too skinny or they are, don't look really pr that what you think is pretty or sexy don't call them ugly or fat because it'll just make you look like an asshole especially since you're not perfect either none of us are perfect like if you have feelings of insecurity don't don't try to rain on somebody else's prey just try to make yourself feel better um and um work on you making yourself a better person i mean it'll make you feel better and you won't look like a total jerk doing it because even if you're a bully or a troll i believe bullies and trolls can change I think, you know, they're insecure and they just have problems. A lot of people hate them. But I can understand where they're from. Instead of just, just, like, I think they just need to love themselves and realize that hurting people won't make you feel better. It makes you feel like a jerk. You just need to, for the people being bullied, work on yourself. For the people bullying, work on yourself. I guess it's a catch too because you both both people can be very insecure and people who are bullied and trolled on um, can become bullies and trolls because that's what they're used to. It's kind of like how people who are abused become abusive. It's just the same thing and so whether you're like really skinny or really overweight feel good about yourself and if you want to go on that diet and um, start exercising which i recommend especially exercise um especially for mentally ill people um a good run a good swim whatever you want to do works on endorphins so endorphins that make you happy so it might seem like oh man i'm going to go for a run but it makes you happy it's like kind of like a drug only you working out and you're making your body better that's what i feel about when i go swimming i haven't swam in a long time that is a great exercise that i love that i need to do more and exercise is a good thing because it makes you feel better it may hurt like heck but it brings endorphins and eating healthy is also good because believe it or not I love veggies I love broccoli I love cow cauliflower cucumbers carrots and fresh fruit I don't like the stuff in the can it's always kind of droopy with all that extra stuff but I love fresh fruit give me an apple and pineapple and grapes cherries I love fruit 
and I love fresh vegetables. Good. I like healthy food, which might surprise people. Yogurt's good. Cheese is good. Yeah. There's nothing like a fresh garden salad or a fruit bowl. That's pretty good. Eating healthy is cool. So, if you want to lose weight, just do it for yourself. Don't do it for people. And don't do it because it's going to make you look better towards people. Do it for your health. And um, love yourself no matter what. Love yourself at the, at the weight you are right now. Love yourself. And remember, people do change.